Do we actually need light to see? Of course we need light to see. Because the mechanism of however we see actually depends on the properties of light. Or you can say the mechanism of all the optical phenomena that happens around us depends on the properties of light. And whatever we see is actually not under our control. Whatever light shows us, that is what we see. And you can imagine that if for a moment all the light sources around us go off, we cannot see anything. And sometimes light shows us something very, very amazing. Check this out. Light has always been known for illusions. These are the natural phenomena that are actually optical illusions. Light pillars and halo. Both of them look scary and beautiful at the same time. But the question is how they are actually formed. So if you want to completely understand the mechanism behind the light pillars and halo, be with me till the end of this video. Every optical phenomena involves majorly two fundamental properties of light, reflection and refraction. And let's note here itself that in the formation of light pillars, reflection is the role player and in the formation of halos, refraction plays the major part. But it will not be beneficial to cover both of them in a single video. So we are going to deal here with light pillars and for knowing about halo and its mechanism of formation, you can watch this video made by Saurav, a good friend of mine, because he has got into the concept really, really well. Alright, so if there is a daylight, we can see everything around us. But in case, if there is just the enough amount of light focused on few objects, we are going to see those objects and the rest of the surroundings will be invisible for us, right? The whole concept of visibility depends on the source of light. The light from the source falls on the objects and they reflect it to our eyes and that makes everything visible for us. But there is a confusion here. If there is a single source of light lighting up all the objects around us, each and every object should have the same color. But this is not the case. We can see different colors of different objects in the same source of light. How is that possible? Light is made of seven colors. We are very aware of that. And actually different objects have a different tendency to absorb some of the colors and reflect the rest of them. So for example, if this particular object is looking red, that means it is absorbing all the other colors and reflecting just the red one. That is why for us, the color of this object is red. And it may happen that out of the seven colors, the object is reflecting more than one color. And in that case, we'll be seeing the color of that particular object as the combination of the reflected colors. Now there is one thing at your home that can reflect almost all the light falling on it. Can you guess what is that? A mirror. A mirror can reflect almost all the light falling on it. And in addition to that, it can create many amazing illusions. Like this. Let's take an example of a lamp post which is placed in front of a mirror. What do you expect? How the ray diagram is going to look like? The light from the lamp will fall on the mirror which will be reflected back in the same medium in accordance to the law of reflection of light. And for now, remember that a mirror is going to reflect all the components of light falling on it. So for a person who is watching towards the mirror, it will appear that all the light from the lamp is coming from inside the mirror because the reflected light is coming from that direction, right? And that's why he will see an exact image of the lamp in the mirror. Something similar is the case of light pillars. 
in polar regions or cold regions of the world the moisture in the air freezes to form tiny ice crystals which are actually suspended in the air and each tiny crystal behaves like a mirror now if there is a light source present nearby how is the ray diagram going to look like something like this and a person who is standing and looking above will see a virtual image of the light source now since there are billions and billions of ice crystals there will be uncountable number of images formed in the sky for a single light source and they together appear like a pillar of light as if someone is pointing a laser from the sky now if the video looks interesting to you do like it and share it with your family and friends and if you are new to my channel you can subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get notified for more amazing stuffs coming in future